Hey guys, today I'll be showing you a couple of cool Google searches you can use to improve the Google searches you're already doing. So for example, if I type in Adobe Photoshop, what Google does is it basically searches uh, the, for the word Adobe and then the word of Photoshop. But what if I wanted to search for the phrase, a phrase, maybe, uh, I don't know, Chicken Little or something, I don't know. Just type in quotations around it and what Google will do is it'll search for both terms synonymously, meaning it'll search for Adobe Photoshop, just that term, not Adobe and then Photoshop. Uh, what you can also do is you can put a hyphen between the two. Uh, basically just, there you go, and it'll do the same thing. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually restrict what Google is searching for. Uh, if I type in Adobe, but I don't want anything to do with Photoshop, I just type in Adobe, space, hyphen, Photoshop and so that way it won't find anything to, it will basically uh, filter out all the searches that have Photoshop in it uh, another thing you can do is if you're searching for Adobe Photoshop now I'm using Photoshop because there's so many things that you a lot of people know about it and so you know you probably search for it um, if you want to search for uh, things relating to Photoshop meaning uh, what if I want to find a PDF of Adobe Photoshop keyboard shortcuts I can just type in Adobe Photoshop space file type colon PDF and it'll give me all the results that have the have there are PDFs so all of these are PDFs right what if I wanted to restrict what kind of PDF it is what if I didn't want anything to do with CS3 I just type in hyphen CS3 and it'll omit it just like the Photoshop thing I did er earlier uh, so now on to the more important things. What if I just wanted to search a specific site for something? Maybe I want to cite, uh, search uh, YouTube for something. I type in site colon and then this, the site. Oops, I don't want to move that. So for YouTube, I would type in site colon youtube.com. If I wanted to search uh, Adobe, I just type in site colon adobe.com. But I'm going to be using YouTube uh, dot com. And basically, space and then type in whatever, whatever you want to search I'm gonna type in start button and I'll search for everything on YouTube that has the word start button in it as you can see there's tons and tons um, and similarly I can omit things uh, and then also what you can do is if you're actually on the YouTube site you have to be on the, on the YouTube site to do this I think uh, maybe I wanted to search for uh, start button yeah start button and I wanted to find the all the videos that were really long. I just type a space and duration colon long, and I'd find all the videos that are really long. You can see it's about 50 minutes, so that's pretty long. Also, I can just type in duration short. And that would work as well, and this will be a really short video, or a pretty short video. 59 seconds so yeah it's pretty short another thing you can do with Google searches is you can actually find answers to your questions uh, by stating them as statements not as questions for example if I want to find out how tall Mount Everest is instead of saying how tall Mount instead of uh, typing in how tall is blah 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 uh, I can type in the object Mount Everest Everest is and we have to type in blank which is this symbol it's uh, you press shift and 8 and you get that is that feet tall and, it'll, and Google will look for the blank and the phrase so I said Mount Everest is 29,028 feet tall and so that that is how tall it is I can do this with pretty much anything I can say India has a population of blank Again, blank is shift and eight. Over a billion, 1.13 billion, 0.02 billion. So you can see it's in the billions, obviously. Uh, and then finally, probably one of the most useful things. If you, what if you're uh, kind of the kind of, guy, kind of person who likes to search for weather and maps, but don't like to go to the sites. Maybe you don't like to go to weather.com or maps.google.com. You can type in here maps colon and whatever place you want to go to Madrid and even get a start address you can type in. Uh, similarly, you can type in weather colon uh, whatever place you're looking for. I'm just going to type in Madrid. It's 75 degrees. 
What if you wanted to define something? Just type in define colon Madrid. So as you can see, there's a ton of search uh, things you can do with Google, and that's really why I like it, because it's so customizable. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, thank you.